Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. In the forbidden city of Asher, Hakeru offers to aid Tarzan and his friends to escape if they will help him recover the Father of Diamonds. Dano and Tom go after the sacred gem, and Hakeru sets out to bring Brian Gregory to the Sanut car. On their way from the Tower of the Sun, Tarzan, Helen, and Magra are joined by Tom and Dano, who have the diamond. A menacing horde of Hesperian soldiers gradually closes in on them. As the refugees arrive at the Sanut, Hakeru suddenly appears through a secret trap bearing Brian Gregory. While Helen and Margaret gain the salute, Tarzan, Tom, and Darno fight the enraged Hesiarians. The Frenchman walks straight into the midst of the snarling pack, only to go down under the weight of a half dozen guards. With a cry of warning, Tarzan springs to the aid of his friend. Barring the ape man's progress is a huge Hesiarian, bronze sword upraised. Tarzan stoops. Grasp the giant for the ankles, and in one swift movement, swings the man round in the air. Like marionettes, the guards fall right and left as the ape man with his human war club clears the path to where Darno lies. He raises the heavy Harrion above his head and hurls him, crashing into the faces of the closely packed throng. Quickly, he lifts the Frenchman to his feet. As they run for the salute, the savage heavy Harrion pulls in swiftly behind them. The exhausted Darno stumbles, falls. In full stride, Tarzan catches him up, swings him to a broad shoulder. A final leap, and the ape man's free hand grasps the edge of the metal car. Let go the brake, Hakeru. Quick! With a shriek of grinding metal, the salute begins to move. Tarzan tosses his friend into the car. A mighty bound, and the ape man himself is safe. Everybody safe? Brian Gregory? Yes, Tarzan. But he is still under the influence of that horrible diamond. What? He is here, as Hakeru promised. Oh, we thought we would have to leave without you, Hakeru. How did you get Gregory here, eh? A secret passage leading from the temple to the Sanut. It is known to but a few. Nay, Elaine's brother, Rakeru. How do we bring him back to life? In a moment, we shall be at the rim of Tuanbaka. Then, uh... Now that we be free, I shall show ye. Tarzan of the Apes, come here. Behold this bag. It containeth the blue veils made from cloth of glass. Whosoever weareth the blue veil may gaze at the Father of Diamonds and remain untouched by its power. I understand. Go on. Let each of thy friends and thou, O Tarzan, place a veil over his eyes. Right. Here, one for each of you. Put them on. What next, Akeru? The third carved lotus leaf to the center of the golden disc. Press it. The disc will open. As Tarzan places his hand on the delicately carved leaf, the yellow disc slides open to reveal the glittering, dazzling effulgence of the great gem. Through the blue veils, the little group gazes full into the unearthly brilliance. Now place thy hands <coughs> opening behind the sacred gem, O Tarzan of the Apes. Thou wilt <coughs> ivory file. Take it and press again upon the lotus leaf. Following Hakeru's instructions, Tarzan brings forth the small white file, presses the <coughs> lotus leaf, and the disc closes. Ye may now remove the veils. Six drops of the liquid from the phial, O Tarzan, forced between the lips of Brian Gregory, will restore to him his powers of animation. Hold his head back, Dono. Maybe. There. He swallowed it. Look. His eyelids are moving. He's... Brian. Brian. Don't you know me? 
It's Helen. Helen. You here? And you? Tom? Margaret? Akira? Yes, Brian. Yes, we're all well, here. What happened? Oh, that hellish diamond. They made me look into it without a veil. After that, I, I don't remember. Oh, there, there, Brian. Don't think about it anymore. It was so long ago. So long ago? Yes, over a year. A year? No, Helen. Only last night. And I, I can't remember after that. But these two men, who, who are they? Tarzan of the Apes and Lieutenant Darno. They helped me find Asher and you. And, and Father, didn't he come with you? Oh, yes, he... He did. He... He was killed back in the jungle. Father? Dead, you say? Yes, Brian Gregory. Killed in a fight with natives. And... And you, Tom. You came for the diamond after all, eh? Yes. As I told you so long ago, the brain can overcome all obstacles. Descend from the Sanut. Ye will find the other car on the outer rim. Come. Are you able to walk alone, Brian? Perfectly, Helen. I feel as though I've been asleep. And now, Tarzan, thou who hast saved my life, I ask thee to keep thy part of the agreement. Return to me the father of diamonds, that I may bring the Atef Suten back to his rightful place on the throne of the Hesi Hare. The golden disc is still in the car, Hakeru. Take it. We have what we came for, Helen's brother. Wait, Tarzan. You have what you came for. But not I. What do you mean? Brian Gregory meant nothing to me. Means nothing to me now. The father of diamonds was and is everything. I came here for it, and I shall leave only with it. No one can stop me. But I'm told. Please do not be ungrateful to Tarzan. You owe him your very life. Silence, Magra. I want the gem as much for you as for myself. Tom, the father of diamonds goes back to Ashur with Hakeru. I have given my word. I yielded the leadership to you, Tarzan, back there in the jungle. I obeyed your directions, assisted you and your friends to be where you are at this moment. That and more I was willing to do. But give up the father of diamonds? Never! But, Tom, we gave our word. You, perhaps, but not I. You're all mad. Here is the wealth beyond the king's ransom. You are willing to let it back with this barbarian to lie useless in that marble casket? Tarzan... We shall divide the value of this stone in as many shares as you say. Helen, her brother, Dono, you... No, Tom. I have given my word. That diamond is still in the car which brought us up here. As soon as we are down the outside, Hakeru will return the stone to our share. He will never do that, Tarzan. Not while I live. And to stop your interference... <laughs> Tarzan! Magra is hit! She stepped between you as Tom fired. With the ferocity of a panther, the ape man leaps at Tom. Strikes a gun from his hand. Iron fingers wrap themselves about his throat. A mighty arm lifts the helpless man from the ground. Shakes him like a carrier shakes a rat. Holmes' hands strike weak, futile blows at Tarzan. Then drop limply as he loses consciousness. Wait, O oh Tarzan. Wait. Do not kill him. Why not? He deserves it. Do not kill him, mighty Tarzan. Let me take him back to our share. There he will find a punishment, a death, such as Brian Gregory experienced. Akeru is right, Tarzan. Let him have his wish. We must leave this place now. Magra is badly wounded. Right. Tom won't come to before you get back to our share, Akeru. Take him with the diamond. Yes, Tarzan. Ready. Beat. Beat. Coming, Darno. Coming. Goodbye, Akeru. Good luck. Farewell, Tarzan of the Apes. Farewell. I wish you, Darno. Be hurt. I'm afraid so, mon ami. Gregory, can you manage this car? Yes, I'll handle it. Then let's go. Swiftly as a bird, the car rushes to the foot of the volcano. Tarzan looks tenderly at the burden in his arms. Is she conscious, Helen? Yes, her, her eyes are open. Do small, do small. She is trying to speak. Here, let me hold her. There. There, Margaret. Is that better? The, the bullets, Tarzan, they did not hurt you. No, Margaret. Why did you step in? She's weakening, Elaine. Perhaps it were better she did not try to talk. No, I'm afraid it doesn't make much difference, Paul. Brian was right. Those boot wounds are fatal. Oh, why was I so stupid? I should have known that Tom was desperate. My fault, Darno. 
I knew he was ready to kill, but I thought he wouldn't... She's trying to say something to you again, Tarzan. Tarzan. Where are you? Right here, Magda. Holding you in my arms. Don't give up now. You've been such a brave girl. You'll be all right. No, Tarzan. This is the end for Magra. Helen. Oh, yes, Magra. Lieutenant Dano. To pray to Magra. You and Helen will be happy. I know. Oh, Magra, poor from four. Tarzan. Yes, Magra. The moon, Tarzan. See, it is so big, so white. The savage face prophesied truly that wolf, blossom, then tomb. And now, Magra would die before the full of the moon. No, Magra. No. Hear me, Tarzan. This is the happiest moment of my life. I, I love you, Tarzan. And I am glad to die. Glad. Because... Only so would you ever hold me in your arms. But the moon, where is it? It is getting so dark. So dark. Oh. Goodbye, Tarzan of the air.